If something that I develop empowers a patient, then it has to be a win. Some people are shy. Some people are stoic. Some people don't know what to communicate to the doctor because there's all these nuances of pain, duration, intensity, magnitude, and it's difficult to try and extract that from patients. As I press on their spine, I'm asking them, does that hurt? And sometimes they will say, uh, yeah. Uh, so there's this disconnect where I couldn't get real time feedback of what my forces were and what the patients were experiencing. This empowers the patient to help convey what they're feeling. It allows them to be listened to. It's got a very sensitive bulb here that when you apply a little bit of pressure, the gauge comes up. So it's on a zero to a hundred point scale. If the sensitivity is too much, there's an audible beep. This also combines with an app. Say for example, if this device is not in the view, patient is holding another table, or you're not able to see it, this mobile device can now display real time, average and maximum. And also this can be saved. So now we can save this to the chart. And when the patient comes in the next time, we can bring this up and we can compare. And sometimes the doctor doesn't even know and expect that a certain tissue is sore. It's teaching me things now. You can get real-time feedback as you create stress, and it's very natural for us to kind of squeeze our hands too, to squeeze on this device and the meter comes up. I'm a chiropractor. I feel like this is a necessary tool for me to get a better outcome with my patients. But there's also applications in like pediatrics, for example, dentistry where you don't even have the ability to communicate verbally. Because if you don't connect with a patient, you're not really getting anywhere. I'm getting information that I never received before. Getting them to communicate with you is what really it's all about. Helping them achieve their wants and their needs.